this hard. And I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm just going to guide you through it. You're going to do it. You're going to tap into what's already inside you. I'm not putting something there. It's already in you. It's already in you. For everyone who says I don't sweat, <laughs> I wish. Oh, yeah, so, so the reparenting tool kind of just slowed down, totally slowed down, and now I'm like a really good mom, and I'm learning really good boundaries. Uh, the biggest thing I've gained from this talk therapy is boundaries, because I know how to separate my child, little girl, from my adult, and I'm like, okay, wait, am I the child right now? friends welcome back to my channel I don't know when I'm gonna be putting this in the vlog but today marks one day of our breakthrough to bliss challenge our 55 day challenge all about breaking through our comfort zones doing things differently and really just showing up for the mind body soul that we want so I posted a video the other day about how I have still been doing project blissful body I did create an Instagram for it so if you're not following project blissful body on Instagram make sure to go do that um, and this has just been such a fun project for me to focus on project blissful body with my wedding coming up next spring with just all of the things going on creating this challenge really has given me intention and focus and it's not just a weight loss challenge it really is focusing on yourself mind body soul and if you are new and you have no idea what i'm talking about i will have a link listed below where you can go and check out the video that i made all about 55 breakthrough to bliss um there are you know six or seven things that i do every single day for 55 days and this is just an act of self-love because tough love is self-love sometimes so doing these things every single day whether it be the journaling the meditating the 10,000 steps the making sure to get my gallon of water in these are all things that i know feel good in my body these are all things that i know that my future self will thank me for these are all things that feel really good when i do them it's just sometimes we avoid things that feel good because we don't feel deserving of feeling good all the time and really looking at this past week i it's just so surprising to me the parts that have felt harder and the parts that really came easy like I had no idea that I would like very easily drink a gallon of water um, I've been finishing that by like noon or one I feel like if you guys uh, watched my old like project birthday body videos or project vacation body videos I feel like if you watch those I've always been a big proponent of drinking water and I've been a big proponent of like trying to drink it on its own like I don't try and add like the flavors or anything into it so right now I just have chlorophyll in my water because it's really good for our blood and our mind and all these things. So this past week, um, I lost 3.5 pounds the first week, which was like amazing and insane. Do I think that I lost 3 0.5 pounds of actual fat. No. Do I think I lost fat? Yes. But I think, you know, actually getting movement every day, even though it's just 30 minutes, even though it, you know, is just 10,000 steps, really having this like intention and focus on just moving my body and moving my body with love and just being like, I can show up for this as a body abled human, really honoring that and just fucking showing up and doing the thing. It's like, we know that working out feels good. L, L Woods made that very clear to us. Um, and you know, surprisingly the hardest part has been the 10,000 steps. And when I say hardest part, I just mean by the end of the day, I'm normally at like 6,000 steps, maybe even 4,000 steps. And I really have to 
like get to move it around my neighborhood so something that i've been doing to kind of offset that and really put love and intention into that also is just like taking what was not working so in the morning i've been doing spin classes as you guys saw i've really been loving those i love the peloton app i just have a sunny health fitness uh spin bike with the 40 pound wheel i ended up getting that instead of a peloton bike because the weight was so long and i knew i wanted to start these classes so i just have the peloton app with a normal bike with a 40 pound wheel um and so I just have the app, which is like $12 a month. And then the army program, which is like the more intense workouts that I do, that is like $35 a month, I think. Both totally worth it, both amazing workouts um, and both very different levels, but I don't want to give up either of them. I really love the process of both of them. I think they both bring great things to the table. I think definitely incorporating like a more intense workout like army, those workouts definitely helped me this week helped me mentally and helped me on you know the scale whatever so you know really making sure that during this process that I'm not just choosing things that are easy I'm not just choosing things that I know I can get done and like it'll be over with you know so and then you know moving into the diet part uh one of the you know uh one of the guidelines for breakthrough to bliss is to just follow a diet just follow something it could be a whole 30 it could be a medical medium cleanse it could be ww like i do the reason i love ww aka weight watchers is because you really can't eat anything you want i really love that uh fruits and vegetables and depending on what plan you are um like just the amount of zero point foods that they really encourage you to eat i think is really amazing i always say that ww is like a very uh it's like an easier more digestible version of counting macros which i did for years so i really love ww if you've never tried it i can't recommend it enough if you are looking just for a little bit of guidelines um i did intuitive eating for years and i like it i do but i also i have goals right now so i really am just focusing on trusting those guidelines and none of this is coming from not loving my body not you know thinking I'm beautiful now not thinking I'm worthy of having my wedding dress now I already bought three wedding dresses okay like and I felt hot as heck in those dresses 1000% no shapewear wearing my dresses um and I just I loved them but I would you know it's what it's always been for me what I continuously say is I just want to see what my body's capable of and with this challenge I want to see what my mind is capable of when I say I don't want to work out when I say I'm too tired how tired am I really how tired am I really and am I going to be someone who shows up for myself and follows through with the promises I make for myself am I someone who is going to really honor what I know my future self is going to thank me for am I someone who you know holds the this vision and hold space for my inner goddess who I know I want to be who I know that I am and what I know I'm capable of so if I know I'm capable of it if I feel the desire why am I not trusting my desire why am I not following that so losing 3.5 pounds working out every day um, and you know I think that the working every out every day thing can intimidate people but it really is only 30 minutes and if you're someone who has never worked out before you literally are so new to this making you know a 30 minute walk part of your workout like make that your workout and get those 10,000 steps in it really is just moving your body every day with the diet it really is just following something every day the no alcohol it's just following something every day and making it really easy that one surprisingly was oddly hard um, I always pretty much go on and off with drinking um i was sober curious for a while and i just like drinking's really not my thing we know what my thing is um over on patreon you know little smoke sessions all the time on patreon and on our close friend story we love it um but then also you know the morning journaling the morning meditation that has been so helpful because you know journaling and meditating are things that we know are good for us but sometimes we're the most resistant to because they lead to the biggest shifts and they lead to like really having a lot of clarity with yourself with your own inner power inner goddess god source whatever you want to call it and i think feel and know that like having it being part of the challenge having it be part of my daily non-negotiables having and making that time for myself 
myself and time to connect with myself has really been transformational because even me there's days where I don't want to journal or I fall off or meditating just it sounds like annoying um, and something that I've been doing actually is on my spin bike after my classes sometimes I'll do my meditation on the bike like I'll throw up uh, one of my own meditations on my phone and I'll do one of my own guided meditations with like resistance very high up moving the body and it's almost like I can feel just like we forget how much movement in the body if you are body able can be like so powerful to you so that's kind of where we're at and I am just so excited I'm so proud of everyone who is doing this challenge with me it has been so fun to see your guys's tags on Instagram your check-ins and you know over on the project book Project Blissful Body Instagram. I did create a daily check-in page for you. All of the guidelines are over there. There is even um, a really beautiful like self-love practice for the breakthrough to bliss, all about writing yourself a letter, a journal prompt that is like transformational to the experience. So going into week two, my focus really is to just keep doing it, keep doing it and keep showing up. I think a lot of us can get so overwhelmed and so like focused too much on what could happen and what will happen a week from now and oh will I be able to sustain this but you know when you just focus on the 24 hours ahead when you just focus on your day it relieves a lot of that pressure it relieves a lot of that stress so that's how I'm feeling I'm very proud of this past week um and yeah I'm just very very proud of myself and I hope that you are proud of yourself too Hello, my sweet, sweet friends. So I just got back from the grocery store and I thought that I would do a healthy grocery haul of not only my staples and my must-have things during Project Blissful Body, but <gasps> Cherry Joe's now has fall things out. So I know we're very excited about that, as I am. Also, what happened to Cherry Joe's bags? What, what happened to the handle? The, it's really throwing a kink in my, in my day. So. The first thing we got, very fall fitting. Honey, these are mainly for you. These petite pumpkin spice cookies. Shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt icing. Amazing. Ama iconic. Um, we got some multi-grain rustic bread because I forgot that we already got bread for your sandwiches and I knew that this was a favorite in the household. And then toast it. Toast it? When we toast it, it's really good. Okay, it's better toasted. So beautiful to know. I picked up my absolute favorite produce, organic bananas, and I picked up more green organic bananas. Really heavily been on a banana kick, and I really have been craving to make like a pumpkin banana bread. Oh, I feel like that would just go over the top. I got a ton of apples that I will not bother taking all of them out of the bag, but my favorite are the Honeycrisp ones, and now that it's fall time and they're back, I'm so excited. On WW, all fruit and vegetables are zero smart points so of course having tons of that in the house um and that has kind of been my favorite go-to snack or when i am feeling snacky making some sort of like a fruit plate and a veggie plate with um some other things coming up i recently have been obsessed with having little snack pack bags of things around the house literally my favorite things, if it comes in a snack pack, I probably have it. I have Funyuns that are three smart points per bag and potato chips will always be one of my favorite snacks. Of course, I grew up with my grandpa always having potato chips around and so even though I'm focusing on getting that Project Bride body, Project Blissful body, we still get to have our potato chips. So, it's great. I don't know how many points these are. I would say these are probably three or four points per bag. And then, of course, all the greens always. I got more spinach for my Glowing Goddess smoothie, which I've been very, very bad about making. Um, but that changes today. We're making the shift. We're eating, acting, and moving like we love ourselves. And then, of course, I always keep a bag of some sort of salad on hand. Uh, we got this, like, romaine iceberg one from Sprouts the other day, and I ate almost half of it just last night. So, got another one. I've also heavily been on an iceberg kick. I don't know who she is, but, like, I heavily crave an iceberg these days. And then more greens. I made these like kind of Greek style Brussels sprouts the other night that were so delicious with like uh, dried oregano and balsamic and red wine vinegar and feta. What else was on it? 
tzatziki. Oh yeah, we put like a tzatziki sauce on the top. So good. So I really love Brussels sprouts. I think there's so many ways to eat them. Um, and I used to think that they really hurt my stomach, but for some reason, these days they're not. So I'm not questioning it. I'm just moving with it. They're also super delicious in the air fryer. I got what some people would call a pint of organic straw, or what are, raspberries. <laughs> I love raspberries. I think these are so good. I love them by themselves or even in smoothies. I think raspberries in smoothies are heavily underrated. Um, ooh, some fall things that I'm excited for Mr. Manifest and I to try. <gasps> I've seen so many people talk about these butternut squash mac and cheese things on my Project Blissful Body Instagram. And it is a little bit higher point, but I didn't realize how big these boxes were. I thought this was going to be the same size as like the reduced guilt mac and cheese. But these are 13 smart points for the whole box. And then I think seven or eight smart points for half. And actually what we do sometimes is we'll make these like little mac and cheese things and then just split them with our meal, which is really good. So I thought we could do one of our like veggie tray bake things that we do and then split this. Yes. yes. These look so good. I've never been a big butternut squash person, but it's weird. I like this year I've been really craving it and it's weird because I've never liked it. It's very odd to like crave something you've never liked before, you know? Very, very odd. I, uh, ooh, I picked up a ton of these. Ton, 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 ton of these. I picked up the barbells protein bars. I saw everyone talking about these also. And I recently have not found a protein bar that I like. I don't know what happened to me over the past couple years from Marissa Catherine to, you know, where we're at now. I just hate the taste of protein. Like I can't do it. I don't know if it's because all of those years really burnt me out, but these are delicious. Um, honey, will you go out to my car and on the side of my door is two open ones of these? Will you go grab them? One, I don't want them to melt, and two, I want you to try them. I know, she's going through, she's processing emotion. So there's a caramel cashew, and there's a cookies and cream. I did a taste test on my Project Blissful Body Instagram, and I love these. They have no protein taste. There is 20 grams of protein in one of them, um, and they're just super good. Uh, they kind of taste like a candy bar. There's no protein taste, and I really like it. Um, Cookies and cream is definitely my favorite, and they are five smart points on WW. Um, next, I picked up these jicama wraps. I've seen a bunch of people talking about these, and so I thought they looked really good just to make little like mini wraps of them. And I thought that instead of doing like lettuce cups, I'd try like a jicama wrap. I and those are zero smart points, obviously. And then I picked up these Trader Joe's chickenless crispy tenders, and I want to say it's like four for two smart points or. Something like that. The points are really good on them. I do know that. I picked up some of our absolute favoritest cheese. This is the Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar Shredded Cheese. We've been out of this. So I picked up two bags of this and I love these on green beans with a piece of veggie bacon. If y'all are from the south, anywhere in the south, you've probably had green beans and bacon. Um, and my grandma used to make it when we were kids all the time. So I used to take a piece of veggie bacon, cook it uh, almost all the way till it's crispy, take it out of the pan, cook my green beans in the pan, and then chop up the piece of bacon. And then once everything's all kind of cooked together and the green beans have some color on them, I sprinkle nine grams of this, the teeniest bit for zero smart points. And it just creates like the yummiest flavor. Um, and then I picked up just this organic shredded mozzarella for our homemade pizzas that I make. I really like that. And for a fourth of a cup of this, it is two smart points. Just more greens. I picked up some organic broccoli because I want to make a broccoli cheddar soup. And then I picked up more organic red bell peppers. One of my absolute favorite snacks recently, like I crave it every single day is a red pepper cut up with whipped cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning on it with tons of hot sauce. Oh, oh my God, it's so good. It's literally the best snack. And whipped cream cheese is like, I think you can have two tablespoons for one smart point. Um, I got more cherry tomatoes. These are really good for spaghetti squash and just pasta in general. And I feel like we always use them for like everything. I like the snack them. I don't like raw tomatoes, but Mr. Mantis does. Smoke to death. Okay. 
I picked up two different types of hummus because the other day we made those little uh, Greek plates and we had no hummus and I was massively craving hummus and I was offended that I had none. So my favorites are the Mediterranean style hummus and the tomato basil hummus, the absolute best. Then I picked up some of their, what is it, mer pa, mer pa, where it's like mer pa, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know how to pronounce it, yeah. Yeah, carrots, onion, celery. It's for the soup I want to make. Uh, and then I picked up some teeny tiny avocados. Avocados are always a good idea. And last but not least, more celery because my amazing, amazing fiance makes me celery juice in the morning. So what else could I ask for? <laughs> okay. And then two more things from Trader Joe's. I, ooh. I picked up some of this hearty minestrone soup. Uh, this is one smart point for one cup, and there's two cups in here, so it would just be two points for the full thing, and I thought this would be really good to take to the office because recently I'm pretty bad about getting busy working, and then I just forget to eat, and then I have all my points at the end of the day. Um, and then I picked up some of these meatless meatballs by Trader Joe's, and you can have nine of them for five smart points, which is amazing. Love that. And moving on to Walmart, I had to pick up just a few of our staples from Walmart, as, as well as I found something new that I'm very excited to try. And also, after I film this, I'm going to do a little bit of a mini meal prep, and I think that's going to be a separate video, but I can't wait to show you guys that. Of course, I have my mask. Phenomenal. Everyone wear their mask. I picked up this new bird's eye plant lasagna made with garden beef that you really like. So I'm excited to try this a lot. I'm sure it's, oh, actually, if it's only 340 calories for this full thing, the points are probably not that high. I'm interested to see what the points are gonna be. I picked up shredded lettuce because we use shredded lettuce on everything. I picked up some baby goldfish because you can have 89 baby goldfish for only four smart points and you can have 32 of them for one smart point and you can have 10 of them for zero smart points. It's, huh? You said increments of 10? Well, no, because then you would like up the number on the tracker, you know? So if you wanna try and hack the system and not work the system and then blame the system for you not getting to your goals, is that the life you want to live? Is that the story you want to tell? Is that the energy you want to create? Uh, my absolute favorite tortillas, James literally, like, it blows his mind how fast I go through these. I'm already out of them again. The La Banderita carb counter snack size. You can have one for one point, two for two points, or three for two points. I rarely have three, um, but if I want them, I have them. I got these Joseph's pitas because one of the meals that I'm prepping is going to be some chicken euros, yum yum, and these are only one smart point for the pita. These are the good thins. These are the garden veggie flavor. I really love the Ritz chips garden veggie, so I hope they kind of taste like this. And with the good thins, you can have... You can have something like 40, 34, like 40 pieces, I think for like three or four smart points. So sometimes it's like a nicer, they're a really good option if you want like a chip and like something crunchy and salty, you should have the points for it. I got James his favorite, other favorite cheese for the quesadillas that you've been making and loving. Um, Oh, I have another one down by my foot. Sorry, I'm running out of room of things to... I picked up some pepper jack single slices because we've been heavy in the bagel sandwich family recently on the weekends, so I thought this would be really easy. And then I picked up more of my favorite craft fat-free shredder shredded cheese, fat-free cheddar shredded cheese. Um, I know I'm crazy, but I really do like it because it's just like more dry and because I didn't eat cheese for so long, I kind of like it better. And then the last two, no, the last three items I picked up, some bagel thins for little bagel sandwiches, uh, just in case I don't want to spend six smart points on a bagel. I picked up this tzatziki dip, which is really good in points. I think it's like for 
two tablespoons it might be one point i know it's really good in points uh for the euros i'm gonna meal prep and then i picked up honey you ready <gasps> more of the taco bell hot sauce it's like liquid gold around here but that is everything i got all of our healthy stuff of course all of our fruits all of our veggies very healthy things we have more produce at the house we in the house <laughs> at the house um yeah so i am very proud of myself how far i've come with not being so anal about my diet and letting myself live a little bit and still maintaining my goals and doing the damn thing so I love you guys so much. Everyone who ever told me that my diet was not realistic, I hope this uh, serves you on some level, connecting to me more uh, on a process level. Just kidding, kind of. Ah, but I hope you guys have the best day. I'm going to go now put this away with my sweet, sweet husband who's going to help me and uh, get to meal prepping.